Colorado Springs School District 11 is expanding a program to help high schoolers get ready for life after graduation. The school district is investing $800,000 in what they call future centers. News 5's Lindsay Jensen explains how they work and what makes them successful. The Doherty High School Future Center has given these students confidence about life after graduation. Definitely helped me narrow down my interests and what I like my future to look like for me. And that's really beneficial to me because before this I had no idea. I was lost at sea. Counselors help students explore career, college, or military options. I also learned more about the internships because I want to go into the medical field, but I never knew like exactly what I wanted to do. Students can talk directly with industry leaders and college reps well, and attend really workshops. Career. My parents, they did not go to college, so it was like they didn't really know exactly how to do everything. Doherty's assistant principal says more than 900 students received help at the center since it opened late January. The amount of resources that are in this building to help kids is immense. It's, it's incredible and people, our Doherty staff love students so much that I don't want them to walk away with Doherty without a plan. Doherty had so much success that now four other high schools will be getting a future center next fall. When the other center opened, we were like, oh, I can't wait till it's our turn. This is so exciting. Wasson High School students will soon be able to prepare for after graduation anytime during the school day. This just gives more individual time than is, is able to be afforded by current counselors. They are busy, hardworking individuals all the time. Doherty High School students say graduation will be a lot less scary because of the Future Center. It makes me feel so supported and so loved and honestly really admired and respected to know that they don't just see me as a student, but they see me as a person who has a future. I'm Lindsay Jensen, News 5.